The command line interface has been modernized in AutoCAD 2013, providing more control and flexibility. You can dock the command line at the top or bottom of the AutoCAD window or let it float to maximize the drawing area. The undocked command line is displayed in a single row that floats above the AutoCAD window. It includes a semi-transparent prompt history enabling you to display up to 50 lines of history without affecting the drawing area. A new tool on the command line provides easy access to the number of lines of prompt history as well as autocomplete, transparency, and options controls. You can press the F2 key or the flyout at the right end of the floating command line to display additional lines of command history. Pressing Ctrl F2 displays the history window. When the command line is undocked, you can snap it to the edge of the AutoCAD window or a docked pallet by moving it near the edge. When you resize or move the pallet, the command line automatically moves with it or snaps to the next pallet or AutoCAD window. You can dock the command line at the top or bottom of the AutoCAD window by clicking and holding or dragging the area as you move it. If you want to place the command line on the edge of the frame without snapping, simply press the control key when you move it. Whether the command line is floating or docked, a command icon helps identify the command line and indicates when AutoCAD is awaiting a command. You can click on the command icon to quickly view and launch the most recently used commands. When a command is active, the command name is always displayed on the command line. Clickable text, displayed in blue, offers easy access to options within the active command. New interface elements provide more flexibility and control over the color of the command line. You can access them using the Colors tool on the Display tab of the Options dialog box.